little more about uh, this resolution and, and this uh, law and how it would be implemented as the two sessions progress over the coming uh, week. But this really shows one thing is that uh, Beijing is uh, no longer waiting for the Hong Kong government to advance its policies. It is forcing the Hong Kong government's hands to a certain extent. Uh, this law would prescribe any uh, acts of uh, secession or uh, acts of extremism or foreign interference. It casts a very uh, wide net and it directly um, targets uh, the protest movement in Hong Kong uh, that uh, rocked the city uh, in 2019 and could do so again uh, this summer in uh, 2020. For the protest movement, this is seen as a clear breach of the one country, two systems formula, which is supposed to guarantee a certain amount of uh, autonomy to the former uh, British colony. And the timing of this is also very interesting with uh, legislative elections uh, scheduled for September in which the pro-democracy uh, protest camp was meant to be doing well. And this was always going to be bad for Beijing's agenda in Hong Kong.